I love this. We're like in the tutorial and they're still giving optional areas to run down and get loot. And this is the freaking tutorial. Oh, you love to see it. It's in! These don't die in the tutorial? Oh, I'm gonna. We need something powerful to challenge the evolutionists. And I think I've finally found it. You, we can secure other deviations. We can use them to forge a new path. This will be the Mayfly's mission. This is why we'll fight. Mayflies? That's right. Mayflies. Small, yet invincible. Okay. Yeah, they still didn't they did, still didn't fix that sound, did they? And now presenting to you, after years of waiting, the updated technology and crystal clear vision of the Nintendo Switch 2. <clears throat> okay. I just ripped that dude's head off and used it to kill everyone else in this room. You love to see it. You love to see it. How do you get into this beta? First step is clicking the link in the once human command. That will take you to the main page, I believe. In fact, let me, let me, let me double check this exactly. So if you click the link in my command there, that'll take you to the Steam page. Okay, the first thing you wanna do is go to the Steam page, click the wish list. And then there's the CPT announcement news event, and that'll give you all the information on how to join. The first, the first step is to download the client on oncehuman.game, and then you can log in and make a character. Now the thing is, is here's how it works. If you download this game right now, then you can just make a character, you will solidify your position, you're good to go. However, if you don't make your account today, then after today, it's going to be a key-based system. And if you don't get a key, then you won't be able to get in. So if you even are potentially maybe wanting to play this game, you'll want to go download and make your character right now. Yep. Of course, if you do that, please play the game and test we and give me feedback. And Reach stuff. out your left hand. See if you can feel the rhythm of it. Then try and secure it. What? That's new. Yeah, that that uh, that's all new. So they they added like a whole new mechanic for that. Huh. Yeah. So I will say, um, I should I should be sure to call it CBT three because I will say CBT does have some other connotations. That's what they call it, so... What is CBT normally referred to? Uh, cognitive behavioral therapy, which is like a big umbrella for lots and lots of different things and discussions, and it's, it's, uh, it's, um, <laughs> it's kind of an if-you-know-you-know you know situation. <laughs> And if you don't, you're probably better off. <laughs> uh, it's, you know, it's it's that kind of thing. Yeah. If you don't know what CBT means, that's probably for the best. Ooh, Victor Hamlet's Diary 1. After some trial and error, I finally managed to add a working containment function to the cradle. It should prove quite useful. We'll have to make use of as many devi deviations as we can if we want to beat Rosetta. Kobe Trippin is CBT. 
Yes. Okay. Let's go scooch down this couch. Scooch! Nice. That little scooching. Is this child a new addition to the game? Uh, she is not new. But um, the a lot of the stuff she is doing and what's going on is new. Yeah, is different. Received a disturbing report that Rosetta is developing some kind of secret new silver gate tech. Apparently reopening the monoliths on the island and activating the silver gates wasn't enough for them. If true, this could prove catastrophic. Did they really learn nothing from Starfall? Is this game going to be on mobile? They are making a mobile client for this game, but it is not out yet. I mean, if you look at this game, the original, I mean, the first thing you think is how are they going to make this game mobile? And I think they're kind of, they're trying to answer that question as well. <laughs> we don't have access to a mobile client right now. Um, yep. Is this your house from the other test? No, no, no. This is the default kind of, uh, this is the house you start in. This is a player built house though. Yeah, this, this has all of the, like, this, if when you build a house in this game, it could look just like this. This is all player-built stuff. Um, but this particular thing is like the tutorial house. Yep. Hey, uh, Guardian Angels, while you're in here, just out of curiosity, do you have any suggestions or tips on, on how I could get that last little bit of screen tearing out? I've tried all the regular stuff. I'm wondering if there's, like, some hidden thing I may not know. Talk to Mitsuko. V, you're still alive. Yes, and look what I found. A Meta. Only just woke it up. They were kind enough to activate the cradle and set me free. Thank you, Meta Human. This means a lot to me. You can call me Mitsuko. I used to be a Meta Human as well. Rosetta did all kinds of experiments on me. That is, until V saved me. Mitsuko is a very special Meta. She can sense even the tiniest fluctuations in the Stardust. It's thanks to her that I was able to take refuge in this place. It's minor, Starfall. no, it's minor. You're safe here. Uh, we were all Rosetta test subjects? That's what Rosetta does. At first, they just locked deviations away. But then they figured out that deviations could be harnessed to make humans stronger. That's when they started their experiments. In the name of human progress, creating metahumans like me and you. To Rosetta, we're the future. And they're not wrong. Metahumans are mankind's last hope. We were created by Rosetta, but we don't take orders from them anymore. We left. We call ourselves the Mayflies now, and we do things differently. It's this thanks is... to her that I was able to take refuge in this place after Starfall. You're safe here. This is so much more cogent than the first time I played this game. Like, the, the first time I played this game, all of these pieces that we're hearing now were here, but they weren't all told in order and it was very disjointed. And I remember being like, maybe they'll add a main story in, but that was confusing. But now like they actually have, there's like an order to it. Like we're actually kind of like getting the details at the right time. Um, this is nice. Yeah, this is, this is much better. About 20 years ago. Still, Rosetta still some work to go, but it's a lot of progress. During one of their experiments. As a result, some great ones slipped through, entering into our world. They brought increased levels of stardust with them. That poison has seeped into every corner of our world now, spawning countless deviants and other dangers. It's thanks to her that I was able to take refuge in this place after Starfall. You're safe here. So this paper butterfly is the deviation you were looking for? Yes, an emissary of sorts. I wanted it to help rescue other metas. The recent fluctuation must have startled it. The important thing right now is to secure it. See that thing in the center of the room? It's a device for securing deviations. This makes them more useful and safer to be around. And someone says, funny thing, I was thinking the same thing uh, while Ko was trying Bitcraft Alpha. Same idea behind social survival game, but different point of view. So this, this game, uh, we did play the Bitcraft Alpha recently, and it's a very cool, interesting survive take on social crafting. It's like a social crafting game. This game, though, I would say is completely different because the gameplay loop of this game caters much more to a wide variety of things to do. It's one of the reasons I like this game so much. 
is because there's so many different things to do, especially as a solo player. I find this game far more engaging. Um, again, as a solo player. So, yeah. Interact with the secure unit and select the deviation to secure. Oh, it's got like a combat designation now. Also, the butterfly is recovered. I think it likes you. The deviant power is going up because all of its uh, required things are green. Yep, mood is 100. That's because there's green light on it. Sixty nine deviant power. Nice. Nice. I really thought I'd just keep taking up here. Ask Mitsuko about deviation. Deviations can be very dangerous if not taken care of. They can radiate stardust, which can lead to all kinds of unpredictable consequences. And this is why we created the Mayflies. Oh, I think I clicked on the we make thing. cradles and securement units to keep deviations contained. We're trying to find ways for humans and deviations to live in harmony. We figure this is our best chance of cleaning up the mess that Rosetta made. The Mayfly is not a very flattering name. It's a name that embodies who we are. Mayflies, as a species, can survive almost anything. Even Starfall and Rosetta. We're trying to find ways for humans and deviations to live in harmony. We figure this is our best chance of cleaning up the mess that Rosetta made. To be fair, Mayflies is a better name than the Cockroaches. What exactly are deviations, anyway? We're the Tardigrades. I'm not exactly sure what they are. <laughs> just that they're not bound by the physical laws of our world. They came from another dimension. Something we call Rift Space. When deviations get stressed, they release Stardust. What would you call we yourself? Think this brings our world and rift space closer together. Like with Starfall, sometimes it becomes possible to pass between the two planes of existence. I, I love that you ask me that like it's a question. Like, what would you call your faction? Obviously, it'd be Tunnel Snakes. There's not really an option. Tunnel Snakes. Tunnel Snakes rule, and we would be the Tunnel Snakes. All right. <clears throat> and when that happens, all hell breaks loose. So what exactly are you trying to do? Are you trying to just stop Rosetta? Some deviations are friendly, like the butterfly. But others, like the ones inside monoliths, are extremely dangerous. It's not practical to secure all of them, of course. But if we can learn more about them, maybe we can find ways to live alongside them. That's the goal. Also, the stardust just keeps spreading. And we aren't sure why. Co, a spine chilling. The siren. Shit, it must have gotten through. Come on, Meta. A deviation from another world just entered this space and it won't go down without a fight. Take the butterfly with you. It can help. Okay. Oh, God. Ooh. Hold the phone. Yo! There we go. Oh, damn. Look at this. Do I have different pants? Not yet. You guys just have to keep looking at my shapely butt a little bit longer. Sorry, guys. Is this closed, Bader? Can anyone get in? Okay. Quick quick reminder and note for anyone just tuning in. Uh, first of all, we'll just do the 9 o'clock one now. Big thanks to NetEase and the devs for sponsoring the stream today. This is Once Human. We are currently in closed beta test 3. And what you can do is if you if you look in the profile of my Twitch panel or the once human command, like Suzu just linked to Shrimpa, if you click that link, that'll take you to the Steam page. Um, one of the top news items on the Steam page is a uh, a whole news item on the closed beta test three and how to access it. The TLDR is that you're going to want to go to oncehuman.game, download the client today and make your character. Now, if you want to play in our world, we're on world C. So if you want to play with us, I know some other streamers are playing on here too, but we are on the C command. And basically here's how it works. Once human dot game, download the client right now, make your character and you are guaranteed a spot in this beta right now. 
So if you go do that right now, you're guaranteed a spot in the beta. They've got like 150,000 slots. It was, it's been open since 10 p.m. ET last night. So as we're talking, those slots are being taken. So right now, if you are planning on playing this game, onesuman.game, download the client, log in, and then make your character. Again, we're on World C, but just make your character anywhere. If you don't do that, or if you're watching this on YouTube and watching it later, if you join the Once Human Discord, they will be giving out codes after the 150K are gone. And they're going to be doing that in waves based on how much the servers are, or based on how the servers are doing, basically. So another option, of course, is just to wait for 1.0. Um, this is closed beta test three. This will be wiped and it is an unfinished beta product. So if you're watching this and you're like, this looks awesome, but I kind of just want to play it when it's done. 1.0 is going to be out, I believe later this year. Uh, Guardian, has that changed since the last we talked? Are they still shooting for a, a 2024 1.0 release? And for the record, the only reason they're doing it like this is because they tried to just give everyone keys last beta and they got over 10... No, what was it? 1,000... No, I think it was... It was. I think it was 10,000. I think they got 10,000% more interested people than they were anticipating. So they were wanting, like... Like, what was it? Like, high 50,000s, maybe? And they got, like, hundreds of thousands. Um, so it was, it was a huge, huge thing. So they're doing it differently this time. They want more people to be able to... They want more people to be able to play the game regularly. So they are being much more careful about managing who's on the servers and that kind of stuff. Yeah. By the way, last thing I'm going to say, last thing I'm going to say, if you are thinking of picking up this game or you play the closed beta, this game is one of the highest wish lists, wish listed games on Steam and every wish list counts. So if you are planning on playing the 1.0 or even the beta, um, definitely make sure to wish list through that link. Uh, it, it very much helps these guys out. So yeah, thanks. Here we go. Withdraw. Is that it? Wait. I think I did this wrong. It, this is different now. So we interact with the isolated security unit to view details. Okay. Your current deviations basic stats are displayed in the top left-hand corner. A devi Okay. A deviations will slowly recover deviant power when dormant and expend it when awake. When deviant power falls to zero, the deviation becomes dormant. The better deviations mood, the more efficient it will be. Your current deviations... Skills are displayed on the right hand side. Wait, what? 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 It, what? You can only do this when a deviation is awake. You can use the deviation skill during combat. Auto it. So wait. Oh, whoa. This is totally different. Um. Okay, synchronized to cradle. Combat deviation is a special. This is all brand new to me. Is a special type of deviation. It is aggressive but can be fully controlled by the metahuman in secure state. Each combat deviation has different abilities, so you can. Did they? Did they just add? Did they just add Pal World to once you? <laughs> I am totally here for this. For the record, um. Uh... <laughs> oh man. Look at this! The dormancy threshold of a combative deviation is not settable and defaults to 100. When hand, when a combat deviation's deviant power recovery reaches full, the deep, this is way too much, too fast. <laughs> this is way too, like, I, uh, okay. Um, so we're synchronized. So now we withdraw, now we withdraw it? No, my whole, my whole thing switched in the top left. Um, hold on. I think if we're synced, oh no, synchronize to cradle. Okay. Oh, 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 and now he's, he, okay. I see, I see. So when we're synced to the cradle, there's like a copy of him on us. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Press E. What does E do? Girl, why are you telling me to press E? <laughs> Hold the E key. Oh, here. This is what you're talking about. Okay. Oh, dude, look at his energy go down in the bottom right. Okay, so I recalled him to the cradle. Is his energy restoring? 
Yo, cool. And then I can just bring it back out whenever I want. Okay. Okay. That's fun. I like that. What is Fatal Flaw? Takes effect when player handling is thrown. Inflicts status damage on a hostile target that throws, shot, and tags the target's weak spot section for 80% of it. Yeah, all of this obviously needs to be rewritten. <laughs> but it, I mean, that sounds cool. Um, okay. <laughs> it adds a weak point to the enemy. That is awesome. That is actually massive. Uh, okay, we need to get log and freehand some mining stone real quick. So the old deviation system was kind of boring. So after Pal World's success, the devs saw a chance to make the deviant system a lot better and more fun. That is awesome. That is actually awesome. Like during a game's development, they're like, you know what? This system we have is not great, but this other game's doing it really well. So maybe we should do like a version of that instead. Great. Pause, please. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> That's, I'm, I'm all for that. That's totally fine. Hell yeah, man. Okay. Uh, we also need to get some log. This is how I cut down trees, by the way. Drakov says, so scope creep. A good way to think about it, Drakov, is almost every single project has scope creep of some kind. Scope creep isn't necessarily a problem. Scope creep is a problem when it goes out of scope. But I mean, in a, in a situation like this, they're still in like full open development. I mean, as far as we know, they could have put the original deviation system in as a placeholder for a future system they just hadn't come up with yet. We don't know. You know what I mean? So like, I, 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 it, what I'm trying to say is it's way too early to call something like that scope creep. I mean, when they're still developing the game and they may not know how things are going to look, um, at that point, you know, they may have not even had a scope to creep, <laughs> if that makes sense. All right. Uh, find a suitable location, press T to set up camp. This is our temporary camp, which is kind of cool. So you get like a main base and then you get like a temporary base. Use a simple crafting bench to make basic gear, tools, and dishes. Good enough for emergencies. And also, most importantly, a respawn. Uh, make a rustic crossbow and arrows. Julia! Hey, what's up, girl? Oh, Julia, we should start the whole, like, uh, uh, big group thing earlier this time. Do we, do we have a we have a war band? I need to make a war band. Oh, my God, look at these. These are amazing. Now, how do I... I want to create a war band. Okay. Oh, it needs 800 of this. I can't do that yet. Okay. I need to ping the devs and see if they'll give me a, a, a gear emblem. <laughs> I need a, I need a gear emblem. Oh, look, look, they already gave us the wings. Oh, Drink I just. Drink some water before you up and die. All I need is a gear emblem and I could totally make my logo in this game. Oh my God. I must talk to them immediately. Uh, but anyway, I can't do this now, so. <clears throat> hey, Red Dragon. Yeah, if you're in game, definitely shoot me a friend request. We're gonna get a, a war band up later. Craft with bare hands. Uh, uh-oh. I can't even make a cross. Oh, weapon crafting? Ah. Uh, let's make you. Hold it confirm. Beautiful. Great. Uh, equip his primary weapon. There we go. Oh, we need some more wood. And we need some more arrows, too. Paladin, what's up, buddy? Armor slot shows the armor. Clicking to switch it out. Okay. Oh, I wasn't supposed to have equipped that yet. Anti-loneliness achieved. I think that's because I have five friends. <laughs> what is CBT3? Uh, like Fredrock says, it's a pretty normal stream here on the channel. It's Ko's Bad Takes Part 3. Yep. That's where we are. Mm, okay. What are friends? Uh, baby, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. 
No more. I'm hearing that in my head right now. Can you pass on to code to check this mail on the top right of the main menu? Oh, sure. Oh, cool. Welcome rewards. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, they gave us a bunch of stuff because they delayed the CBT by a day? Y'all didn't need to do that. <laughs> That's very nice of you. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, you can just rename yourself. Oh, okay. Cool. Edit avatar frame. Dude, Sacro's gonna be thrilled when he sees this. <laughs> I don't even know what why that's there, but that's amazing. Um, oh, I like the demon. We're going with the demon. I haven't unlocked anything yet. Does it say how to get these? I don't know, those are cool. Edit theme? Oh, it changes the whole background? Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Kinda fun. Okay. All right, so wait, now that I have that, I can do this. Oh, Kanto. Hey, buddy. Boom. Uh, we'll just do an auto-join. Mm -mm. I won't be able to make my, my ult. There's no, there's no red. Oh, I'm so, I'm so disappointed. I'm, I'm so, I'm, I'm so, I'm so disappointed. Um, okay. Hey, Warbin. Great. There we go. So if you guys want to join us, feel free. Um, you can just do that by clicking Warband and just finding us. I just left it open. I mean, it's, I'm, you know, whatever. We're just going to have some fun. So. Oh, Seasons has not started. No ranking available. Nice. All right, cool. Let's go. Did I Oxford comma it? Oh, no. What should it have been? Um, no, I think I, I think I had to do it like that, right? Oh no! You got a new hat, by the way. Oh, I didn't. Oh, I, I get it auto-equipped, didn't it? Maybe I don't know. You still have to be part of a hive to be in the warband. Oh, that was such a such a weird system. Um. Yeah, so this game has this very, very strange system. I'm just going to be blunt about this. Basically, there's hives, and hives are like small groups of people. And then hives can be a part of warbands, but warband slots can be either for hives or people. So if you don't in invite hives, then you lose out on how many people you can have in the warband. And I really hope they completely remake that system, because honestly, it's kind of garbage. Um, it just makes everything super confusing, and it's not, like, if they want to do small groups and large groups, there's much better ways to do that. And, but again, this is a beta test, and they're already changing tons of stuff. Oh! Guardian Angel! Okay, never mind. You can just ignore the last little bit. <laughs> so, so, wait, is, and they're just, and it's gone! Um, so, oh wait, Oh, here's the event tab. What is this? Oh, that is awesome. You will receive 20 astral doolets at 6 a.m. every day. You need to, There needs to be a, a time zone there. Uh, and can exchange them for special items. Oh, look at that. So you can get, like, basic items just by logging in every day. This, I, I have no idea what this is. Oh, claim rewards. Oh, cool. Okay. 